Hey guys, Ivan here at ivanmana.com. And in this video, I wanna show you how to set up the Facebook Pixel in 2022. In this video, I wanna show you everything step-by-step, step, how to set up the Facebook Pixel so that you can start seeing your conversions inside of your Facebook ads. So we'll do everything here live as you watch behind my shoulder, as you see my screen. So let's get straight into it. I'm assuming you already set up your Facebook business account. If not, take a look at my video on how to create Facebook ads, where I guide you through the process of creating your Facebook page, your Facebook account, and so on. And this is gonna be kind of your main dashboard. So from here, the first thing you have to do is actually click on the little gear icon here at the bottom. If you haven't set up any pixels yet, you will have to create a pixel and attach it to your account. So what you're gonna do here is click on data sources and click on pixels. And I already have a bunch of pixels, so this doesn't really apply to me, but if you don't have any pixels yet, this is the first step that you will have to do. So what you wanna do then is click on add, and you wanna give your pixel a name. So let's say Facebook pixel 2022. We're gonna click continue. And you cannot delete your pixels, okay? So uh, keep in mind, you can't just create a bunch of them and then delete whatever you don't want. They do stay on your account, which is why you see so many pixels here. So um, we can just close out of this for now because we're gonna go to a different tab to actually set it up. But for this part, I do wanna show you, you wanna first add people and you wanna add assets to this pixel first. So what you wanna do is click on add people. You wanna select yourself and you wanna give yourself full access to this pixel. And then this is another important part here. You wanna click on add assets and you wanna attach this pixel to your account. So in this case, I only have one ad account. So I'm gonna select that account and I'm gonna click add. And now this pixel has been attached to my ad account one. Okay, so if you click on connected assets, make sure all of this is here. So once you do that, good job, you have set up your pixel. Now we have to actually install it on our website, right? So you wanna click on old tools here and click on events manager. And you will probably just see your one pixel here. You probably won't see many. Make sure to select the correct account here at the top. And we're gonna go find our pixel, which is right here, Facebook pixel. And we're just gonna click on continue pixel setup. And we're gonna go through the steps here. So we're gonna click that. Uh, I will go with the meta pixel option. I'm gonna click connect and we will install the code manually. So if you do have these partners like Squarespace, WordPress, Shopify, you can select this option and then you will be able to integrate them much easier. But I'm gonna go the hard route in, in case you guys aren't using any of these. And that way you will know exactly what to do and in case you're not a partner, you will be able to set it up yourself. So I'm gonna click on install code manually. And so we have to go kind of through all these steps, all right? So the first thing they want us to do is to add this code to the header section of your website. So we're gonna click on copy code and I am using Unbounce. So I have a landing page here and a thank you page as a sample, but you can use whatever you want, any page builder. And this applies whether you have a sales page, an upsell page, downsell page, you know, whatever. Uh, I will show you what the idea is. And so here it tells you, it says paste the pixel code in the bottom of the header section, just above the closing head tag. So what you wanna do is come back here. Let's say we're using Unbounce, click on JavaScript, click on add new JavaScript and we will paste this code that we just copied here and placement, we wanna make sure it's in the head. And then we're gonna label this, we're gonna say Facebook Pixel and we're gonna say save. So the point is make sure to find the JavaScript option of your page. So if you're using ClickFunnels, for example, you will have an option on the top left where it's gonna say add code and you can add the code there. So just look for the JavaScript option. You wanna put this code in the header section of your page. So over here, we have the thank you page. We're gonna do it here as well. We're gonna paste it here. If you have the option to add this code on your entire website with just one go, you can do that as well. So I'm just showing you, you know, the long route here, putting it manually on every page, but if you can put it once and it will automatically apply this code to every single page, you should definitely do that. So I'm gonna click done and then we're gonna click save for here. We're gonna republish this page and then we're gonna come back here. We'll hit save, we'll hit republish. Now we are far from being done. There is still something we do have to do, uh, a few things we have to do but this is the first part, okay? So what we did right now was we added the base code to our website, or in this case, landing page and thank you page, so that Facebook can track us. So we've done that. However, we haven't specified specific events yet. So we haven't indicated what we want to label as a conversion. So when we, once we start running these Facebook ads, we haven't indicated what we want to track as a conversion, which in this case is people signing up to my email list right? That's what we want to track. We want Facebook to send me more people that are likely to enter their email and their name. And we haven't done that. So once we've done that, let's click continue. 
you can turn on advanced matching. So Facebook will match the data that they have with the data that customers provide here and see if they can provide more information about those people for remarketing. Now, this doesn't mean that it's individualized. So it says right here, you will not know, for example, the name of a specific person and their exact date of birth, their gender, but you will get a rough idea, like a rough bar chart, for example, later on, once you do get some data of all this information combined. Hope that makes sense. So you can turn it on, it doesn't hurt, it's just extra data, you can click on continue. And so now we have to add the event code. So this is gonna be the specific events that are gonna indicate what we want to specifically track as a conversion. Like I said, in this case, people that signed up to our email list. Now this option here doesn't always work. So it, when you enter your website, when you open website, it doesn't quite work. So what you do have to do is install events using code. You have to do it manually using this option here. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what we're gonna do is you will click on standard events right here and you have to find what you want to track. So do you want to track people that added something to their card? Do you want to track people that contacted you? Maybe people that donated. In this case, let's say we wanna track people that are leads, right? Because if they sign up to our list, they're considered leads. So what we wanna do is enter this event, this pixel event on our page, on our thank you page. Because the only way somebody can land on our thank you page is if they actually enter in these details. So let me show you exactly how to do that. So just memorize this, it's called lead, right? So we're gonna go back here and I'll send this, you know, I will give you this in the description of this YouTube video so you know where to go. And so what we wanna do is we wanna use this code right here. Okay, so let's just copy this for now and I'll show you what to do with it so we can copy it. We can come back to our thank you page. You can either enter a new Facebook pixel or you can just add it here. Okay, so either way is fine, but we will add it here because it's easier. We're gonna go back and we're gonna paste it here. Now we don't want this stuff, this currency, because this is not a purchase. So we're just gonna delete all this stuff, everything here, and make it look exactly like this here, right? But as you recall, this is a lead, right? If you remember, so again, if you click on standard events, I'll open it in a new tab. We want to track leads. And so you can pick whatever you want, whatever it is that is defined as a conversion for you, that is what you wanna do. So if it is a purchase, then you can use that same pixel and you can enter the purchase amount. If it's schedule, if it's search, you know, whatever it is, if somebody started their trial, you would enter start trial right over here. So we're, we're gonna enter lead because it's a lead, right? Somebody that signed up. And this is our event code right here, okay? So this will show up as a lead if, if when somebody lands here, which means that they signed up to our landing page, on our landing page, they become a lead. And so that's this event pixel code that we added. So I'm gonna click done, I'm gonna click save, and I'm gonna click republish. So we've successfully set up the pixel. There are a few more things we have to do to kind of test it, make sure it's working, and verify our domain, things like that. So let's go back here. We're gonna click continue. And you do have to verify your domain. So hopefully you do have a domain of your own. So I'm gonna click on verify domain and let me show you what the process here is. So I already verified this domain, uh, moneyonline.com, which is the domain for this page here, the thank you page, moneyonline.com. Now what you wanna do is, once it takes you to that page, you wanna click add and you wanna enter your domain. So for example, moneyonlinenow1a.com. And let me show you what the steps are. So you're gonna click on add. And what you wanna do is log in to your domain registrar. And I like to select this option here, uh, update the DNS TXT record. So you, you can go with any option you want. You can add a meta tag to your source code. You can upload an HTML file to your root directory. I like to go with this option. And what I do is I log into my domain registrar. In my case, for example, Namecheap. I'm gonna select my domain, which in my, in my case was moneyonlinenow.com. And I'm gonna add this TXT record in my DNS configuration. So it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna go into your DNS records. If you're not sure where that is, just contact the support. Every domain registrar has pretty much 24 seven support. You can contact them and ask them, where do you add the TXT record? And they will be able to tell you. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna take this link here and you're going to add it as a TXT record in your domain registrar settings. And for the root, you will have to enter the at symbol and that should work for you. And that is pretty much it. Once you do that, you would click on verify domain and it says that it can take up to 72 hours for the change to propagate. It did not take that long for me. It took a few hours, but not 72. However, in some cases it might be up to 72 hours. So just keep that in mind. Once you verify your domain, you should be good to go. And over here, you'll be able to click on continue. 
And that is pretty much it for this part. We can go in and click on go to pixel overview. And so now our pixel should be on this page. So what we want to do is we want to actually open these pages. We want to test it out. So we can go back and we can open the pages and the data should start showing up here once the pixel gets registered. So we can click there. We can click on the thank you page. We can maybe refresh the page, refresh the page. And let me close out of that. Come back here, refresh this page. And now some data should show up. If not right now, then very shortly. And there you go. Okay. So you should see this, this kind of menu option here. That means that your pixels have been set up. Now you could check if your pixels have been set up by using a pixel extension, a Facebook pixel extension. It's called Facebook pixel helper. And what it will do is show you whether your pixel has been set up. So for example, this one, we see that the page view pixel, which is that general pixel code that I told you about, we know that this is set up on this landing page for this one. We can see we have the page view and the lead set up on this page as well. So we know that it's all working properly and that the pixel is set up on these pages. Okay. So we can come back here. That looks good. Now what you could do is you can go into test events and you could enter your website URL and see if the event shows up. So for example, we could enter this one. We could copy it, come back here. We could paste it, click open website. And there you go. Okay. So it's processed. So you know it works. So you have different ways to test this. And that's basically the idea. So if you go back into overview, you should eventually see a lead show up here because we did open this lead page, which triggered the pixel. And that's pretty much it. So what you would do then if you want to add new events is again, you would utilize that document that I sent you earlier. So you can access it by clicking here. You can click on from the pixel and then you can click on install events using code. And then if you want to add more pieces of these, of this event code, such as a purchase pixel, you know, uh, initiate checkout pixel, things like that, you would follow the exact same procedure and you would go into your, let's say, let's say this is my sales confirmation page. I would add that event code to the sales confirmation page. So instead of lead, as I did here, I would change this to sale or purchase or whatever it is you want. And then that will show up as that conversion in your Facebook ads manager. Now, one more thing you could click on open event setup tool. This option doesn't work if you don't have the event set up already. So it is kind of buggy. I sent Facebook numerous feedback requests about this, but they still haven't fixed it. So if you do, enter the code on your page, then this should work. So if you go here and you click on open a website, you should see this option here. But if you didn't enter the event code before, then you will not see that you will not be able to click on this. So it is kind of buggy. And maybe if you want to give feedback, if you see it on your end as well, and if you want to give feedback, that would probably help speed up them fixing it, hopefully. But yeah, that's basically it. We have done everything we needed. We set up the base pixel code and we set up the event code. And that is all you need to set up Facebook tracking. If you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to check out my channel where I have so many free videos. I have over 400 plus free YouTube videos with so much content. If you go into videos on every topic you can think of, Facebook ads, Microsoft ads, Google ads, Google ads tracking, things like that, how to make money online, all that good stuff. In addition, I do offer training courses on my website at evonmeta.com slash old dash courses. I have a comprehensive Facebook ads course, which guides you through step-by-step -step exactly how to set up Facebook ads, set up the campaigns, as well as retarget with Facebook retargeting audiences. So really useful stuff that can really get you the most out of every dollar you spend with Facebook. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.